Hey guys, you clicked on this video, so I'm gonna be talking about my top 10 perfumes that I own. I own these perfumes, um, and so I think these are the best. I wanna start with number 10. This is called uh, XS by Paco Rubin. Hey Siri, lower the volume. This is called Paco Rubin's XS. I really like this perfume, it's very boozy. It's extremely boozy and smoky. It smells like somebody who's eight drinks down. Yep, it smells really good. Um, I've had this bottle for God knows how many years. This is my second bottle though. I don't know what happened with the first one. I totally recommend this if you are into alcohol and if you have a, a nose for something which is a bit pungent yet very room filling. This is somebody who's very macho or wants to be very macho should wear this. I really recommend Park Ruban's Excess. For number nine, I want to take... This is called Por, uh, F by Ferragamo, Por Home, which means for man. Of course, I have done a review of this in the past. I always feel this is a bit of a summer perfume, a winter perfume, and that's because it has a very uh, like awe-inspiring start because it just comes down on you heavy. Um, almost like a gourmet. A lot of pepper notes on this one. Extremely good value for money. I'm forgetting the price, but it's extremely good value for money. Value for money. I highly recommend F by Ferragamo. Um, one note for you guys, if you're wearing a pepper-based perfume, don't put two, three notches. Just put one and you're sexed out. You don't need to do anything else. Number eight is a perfume I don't have anymore, but except a 0.5 ml on the bottom. This is a very famous perfume for teenagers. This is called Fierce and it's by Abercrombie & Fitch. It's not available in, in India, so you'll have to do a bit of Googling. It's not on Amazon. Um, absolutely love this. It's very sweet. It's very teenage-y and it's, it smells like a summer in New York that lasts forever. Number six, I'm gonna give to, so I've done three so far. So this would be number seven actually. Number seven is called Hill Figure by Tommy Hill Figure. Um, this one again is, is sweet, sensual, masculine. I think this is more for a gentleman as opposed to a boy. And um, if you're between the age of let's say 21 and 34, this is your perfume. It's very, very, very difficult to uh, find anybody wearing this. So if you wear this, you'll be one of the few guys who wear this. This is my second bottle in 10 years. Number six is a perfume which I love so much. I sometimes call it my favorite. This is uh, uh, Pour Home, Louis Dissier Pour Home by Isi Miyake. Very sweet, very, very, very uh, foresty, romantic. A bit of a floral note also on this one, but I absolutely give this a perfect 10. Now we're getting into the big league guys. I'm getting confused about what to call out next. Number six, I want to give a perfume which will be a bit of a surprise. This is Instinct by David Beckham. This is a bottle I purchased in 2010 and I still have it. That doesn't mean I don't wear it that often. But this is extremely poisonous, boozy, aromatic, amazing perfume. And not expensive. Now we're getting into the big league number five. I have kind of misplaced a bottle. But number five, I want to give the Vibrant Leather by Zara. Um, it's just a random pick which I got from Zara and I ended up liking it so much. And for some reason, I've been getting a lot of compliments. I never get compliments on how I smell because perfume doesn't stick to my skin that long. So I've decided I'm a bit of a, uh, a self-fulfilling uh, enthusiast. Like I, I want to fulfill my own hasty replay. I want to fulfill my own, you know, obligation to myself, you know and not trying to be a, you know somebody who wants to get compliments having said that um, Zara vibrant leather is number five number four I want to give to something which I have a bit of a hate love relationship with and I'll take out two bottles of it uh, I mean there's it's a tight spot there's CH men Privé and that's Chanel Blue. Chanel Blue is becoming a bit predictable now literally everybody in the world wears it um, so I don't know if I like it that much. Besides, I want to get the La Exclusive collections of Chanel soon. 
I will be buying my first perfume, but it costs about 17, 18,000. So I don't know if I want to buy that. Chanel Blue would cost you about six, seven thousand. Uh, CH Men would again cost about four, five thousand rupees. The good thing about this is that it's it's a very peppery note. The bad thing is that it's a peppery note. So I don't know how to wear it. I really don't. If you guys know how to wear this, let me know because I wear it once and it's okay, but it doesn't last that long. If I wear two, the pepper seems over infused but the signature smell is so good i want to know how to wear this if you're drinking and you wear this you love this now number three would have to go to this bottle which i've had for quite a while now this is office for men by jeremy fragrance he has his own perfume channel and um, this is a very very impressive perfume because number one it has a great projection if I spray, I spray two of it, I'm good for the next 10 hours. Everybody will be like, what's that perfume you're wearing? It's a great looking bottle. It's the first batch. Um, I spent a fortune on getting this. I'll put a link up in the description for the video which I did this uh, for this. Amazing perfume, totally recommend it. It's called Office for Men by, Office for Men by Jeremy Fragans, but it doesn't say Jeremy Fragans anywhere. Um, very clean, very day perfume, very out into the world, doing things kind of a thing. If you're sitting in a room, probably you won't love it as much. And the world right now is about sitting in the room. That's why it's called Office for Men. Um, this brings me to my second favorite perfume. Now this one is going to be a surprise to everyone considering how cheap and inexpensive this is. But this is Club de Nuit Intense Man by Armaf. This smells like a dream. This smells like a life. It is sexy. It is hypnotic, it is masculine, it is feminine, uh, it is feminine, it is everything. Everything thrown into one perfume is this perfume. Now why do I like this this much? This has a 10 on 10 projection, a 10 on 10 staying power. Like you just spray one before going to bed and the whole night you'll be in love with yourself, man. So yeah, this is totally worth buying. Uh, this is a ripoff of Creed Aventus. Who gives a F, man? Now I'm going to be talking about my favorite, but before I do that, I want to say, if you guys are looking for a good combination, wear one of this on your right hand side, this is Office for Men, and wear one of this on your left hand side, and you're good. This costs about 10 times as much as this, but still. Now, my favorite perfume, no surprises, is Hermes, Hermes, uh, Tear de Hermes. By Hermes, this is the best perfume you can buy. This is the EDP variant. I have hardly a milliliter remaining. Probably my third or fourth EDP bottle. And this is the EDT variant. This is my first bottle, surprisingly. Now, the funny thing is, this room right now smells confused because there's so many mixes of different labyrinths of smell. Anyways, we're gonna get on with it. Uh, what the hell? This smells like Shivas Regal. This smells like extremely alcoholic, boozy, um, um, intense, has a bit of a, a nourishment of orange in it, um, has a very clean opening and has the best, best dry down of all the perfumes that I've ever owned. Uh, this is probably the best one. So yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. This is a classic. If you get this, it's probably six, seven thousand bucks, but worth it. Like I love this as much as anything, <laughs> any accessory. I like Hermes as much as anything, like I was saying. Um, I'm gonna now, now give some honorable mentions. I wanna give an honorable mention to one perfume which I don't have in my, with me, but if I did, I'd probably say it's probably in my top five, and that is Chanel Allure Homme. Not the sport variant, that is bad. I'm talking about the Chanel Allure Homme. The, it's a golden bottle. That's the best perfume you can buy. Um, it's spicy, it's rich, it's creamy, it's delicious, it's very long lasting, it's very distinct from the crowd. I smell amazing by the way right now. I think I'm gonna sleep in this shirt today. By the way, although I'm wearing a shirt, I'm wearing shorts underneath. I don't wanna show you them because they are prison, prisoner shorts. Um, yeah man, um, other honorable mentions, I would say Mont Blanc Legend is pretty good. It smells a bit like uh, Abercrombie & Fitch. Other perfumes I like wearing a lot is another David Beckham perfume I have. Surprisingly, this one grew on me. I've called for another one of David Beckham perfume. This is a very simple bottle. I'm forgetting the name, it's called Beyond by David Beckham. Pretty good. Um, 
I also like Armani's uh, perfumes like I like uh, Aqua di Gio, it's okay. I also like uh, Profumo by Armani, a new one. And uh, one more name I'm forgetting, the Black Bottle. I don't know why my, the name is skipping. So that was the video, man. I wanted this to be a five minute video, but I yapped so much I couldn't do it. I'm, all the videos, all the perfumes are linked in the description. Um, yeah, different video. I hope you guys liked it. Yeah, man. Bye.